Hey, this is Brock Lemires, and we're continuing our study of embedded systems design. We have switched over to the programming language C, and in this video, we are going to look at arithmetic operations or arithmetic operations. So let's just jump right into CCS. So go ahead and fire up a new project, and let's call it, <clears throat> let's call it C underscore arithmetic. And we're just gonna do a, some very simple arithmetic operations. And again, not that this is terribly difficult when you type in C, but more importantly, I wanna see what happens uh, as this is translated or compiled into opcodes and operands and assembly code, okay? So <clears throat> let's start off with this. Let's, uh, let's just get it some variables and initialize them to uh, something. So we'll do an A is equal to two, B is equal to three, uh, C is equal to four and int D is equal to five. <clears throat> and then all we're gonna do is just do some adds and some subtracts, okay? And then we'll look at what actually happens. Let's do this, okay? Um, we need to do a main loop. So let's do a while loop, open that up. And in here, let's just do a series of just operations, okay? Uh, first and foremost, let's tab it over. <clears throat> let's do this. Let's go B is equal to a plus B, <clears throat> okay? So this is cool, this is an add. Uh, pretty simple, we put the destination of who's gonna get it on the left and then you do the operator, or the assignment operator essentially, and then this is gonna be A plus B. And this is gonna be, this would be the exact same instruction if I had done uh, ADD or add dot W <clears throat> and I did the source is A and the destination is B, okay? <clears throat> now, where A and B are, who knows if there might be registers, they might be on the stack, but it's just gonna be a simple add, okay? So let's look at a, let's do a simple subtract, okay? <clears throat> so let's do that, all right, so there's your adds and subtracts. Um, let's do an increment too, let's do a B is equal to B plus one. Uh, if you were calling C, if you wanna do an increment, you can also just do B plus <clears> plus, <throat> so that's sometimes a little bit easier. And then let's do a D equals, I don't know, D minus one. And then same thing, if you you want to do a decrement, you can just go uh, D minus minus. So let's just go look. Let's just go watch these walk through. It's not really difficult, but let's just take a look. So go ahead and fire up the compiler. We're gonna compile this. I got my board plugged in <clears throat> and cut. Okay, so we wanna compile this now, but remember, let's go ahead and turn off optimization or else the compiler will remove all of our code because it looks at it and says, hey, your code is stupid, it doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna remove it. <clears throat> and we're like, well, we're just trying to learn compiler. So why don't you just leave it? So I'm gonna turn off the optimization. I compile this thing. <clears throat> wait, 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 here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna pop myself a little uh, breakpoint in there. I run to the breakpoint. And I want to look at disassembly and I want to look at my variables. Okay. So here's my variables. <clears throat> uh, here's my disassembly. Again, if you don't have these, these screens, go over here and go view disassembly, view variables. <clears throat> and first of all, where are these variables? Okay. The location is lo and behold, they're on the stack. Okay. And we'll go, let's go look at them. Okay. So let's initialize these. I'm going to step through <clears throat> and notice that here's our instructions. I'm going to move this into the stack. <clears throat> this is interesting. So look at the assembly for this. Move to into the stack pointer with an offset of zero. So this is indexed addressing and it did pound two. Then look at what it does for uh, <clears throat> three. It did zero X, zero, zero, three. So isn't that interesting how it actually used two different syntaxes? This is automatically generated by the compiler, <clears throat> but whatever, it, however you, the compiler wants to live, that's fine. So let's initialize all these, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, two, three, four, five. Let's go look at this. Let's just make sure we understand what's happening. So I'm gonna go to zero X 3000 and I'm looking for these values. So when I come in here, notice that there's some stuff already on the on the stack. That was put there by the startup code. <clears throat> I don't even know what that, that's for. I have a hunch. Uh, it's for some sort of non-maskable interrupt that was set up for us. But I don't know that. I don't know exactly what this is. <clears throat> and so I'm not gonna, yeah. But anyway, here's our here's our variables. So it, it basically said 
the stack pointer is going to be pointing apparently at 2FF4, and then we'll use an offset and an offset and an offset to access all of these. Now, if I wanted to verify that, I should just be able to go to the stack pointer and go look up here, and it's at it's indeed at 2FF4. <clears throat> so the, the way that they did this memory allocation was they push, 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 and then now the stack pointer is pointing here, and then they just use offsets to access the rest of them. Okay, all right, cool, whatever. Now let's go back and let's do some of these silly instructions. So here's the first one. We're going to do an add. Well, look at how it does it. <clears throat> it does add what the stack pointer is pointing at, which is, happens to be A, to a destination of the stack pointer plus an offset of 2, which happens to be B. And then, of course, the add mnemonic puts the sum back in the destination. That made a lot of sense. Okay, yeah, that made a lot of sense. Here's the subtraction. <clears throat> Look at what, how it does the subtraction, though. Instead of doing the subtraction directly on the op, the you know offset of the stack, in this situation it didn't do it like that. It moved the the variable c, okay, the value of c, into r15. Then it did a subtract with r15 and the stack, and then it moved it back. So it did the instruction a little bit differently. Now, I don't know why it does that, <clears throat> but it's interesting because it could have operated directly on that uh, just like it did with the add, but it decided not to. Now take a look at this. You did B is equal to B plus one. The compiler said, oh, this guy wants to increment. So it actually replaced your B equals B plus one with an increment operation. <clears throat> Again, it used uh, offset or indexed addressing to access the variable B. And then it, when you did the B++, plus plus, let's go ahead and do this. So they're operating. Look at how I had to click three times for that to be updated. That's because it took three instructions. So now there's the increment. And now watch B again. I'm going to go B++. Plus plus. So in both situations, <clears throat> you know, you think about B equals B plus one or B++. Plus plus, and you say, well, those are the same functionality. And it's like, you're not kidding. It's the same functionality. It's the exact same instruction as interpreted by the compiler. So it actually put that down. Look at D. D did the exact same thing. So when I do D equals D minus 1, it does a decrement. And then when I do D minus minus, it's a decrement. So this is funny because sometimes you'll hear people go, well, you need to do B plus plus because it's more concise. It's a better way to code. And that shows, I don't know, I don't, I don't think they really understand what's happening because this is not any more concise than this other than maybe it took a few extra few less keystrokes, <clears throat> but these two are literally functionally equivalent because they are compiled into the exact same instruction opcode. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we did it. We did some arithmetic, and more importantly, we saw how those arithmetic operations or those statements were directly implemented with instructions uh, and not always exactly what we would think. The add came through as an add, but the subtract actually came through. It had some additional movement uh, instructions in there. So the add took one instruction, the subtract took three. And so the compiler's taking care of this for us. Okay, so you did it. Congratulations. As always, remember to support my channel by subscribing and see it.